Uh, before 2004, my eldest son had come home on the farm uh, with me. We were looking to expand the business and uh, opportunities here were very, very rare. To, uh, uh, land was very tightly held, so we decided to uh, look around and we finished up down at the southeast. A good friend of mine was, uh, happened to be doing the same thing down there with his son and uh, we, um, we both uh, asked uh, Paul and his family whether they'd like to come in on this venture with us to, um, to actually make it a less burden on capital for our own two businesses there. We obviously had to uh, look at uh, two things, whether our family would, uh, would you know, all be on the same page or working together and financially how it would affect our business. So we certainly spoke to our accountant and, uh, and our, our bank manager at the time uh, about you know, increasing our, our risk and um, our borrowings and uh, going into a venture like this. They looked at properties in various areas, but uh, particularly in, in Keith because of the rainfall area and the price of the land there. And, thought the opportunities there were pretty good. A property came available. This property needed a lot of developing. Um, we seen it as a rundown property and uh, we thought, well, um, this might be a good way of just getting into um, something uh, that would probably build up its capital um, in, in the short term. And for long term, it could have that possibility of being self-sustainable and uh, work from there. It was a, a, a property with three sections on it and uh, we were all going to uh, do that individually for a start. Um, but once um, we sort of started to talk around the table of how, how that's going to work, uh, we, we thought that this was uh, going to be uh, a little bit difficult and I think that's when we started talking about tenants in common. Everybody owns the whole thing, nobody owns an acre here or an acre there and it, and it put that drive focus on to where we actually wanted to go as a group. The, an important part of this process was having a, a manager on the property because we realised that um, we could not um, run it without somebody being there full time. So um, picking the right person to, to do that was, was very important and at the time uh, some of the um, other partners had a person in mind who they thought uh, would be would be excellent, and um, and he was approached and uh, agreed to to uh, to come on board with us, and he he treated the property as if it was his, and that was that was you know that was very important, um, and he we worked very closely with him, had a very good relationship with him. The property was uh, 450 kilometres away, so that meant a lot of transport uh, to moving through town, um, shifting machinery backwards and forwards. Um, it also uh, took us away from our own businesses there as well in, in starting a new business up so we had to be we had to work with that as well so and hence having a, a full-time manager there and workmen down there that was to alleviate that sort of problem there. As far as the business point of view goes you really got to know the area that you're actually going into and I guess we went down there with a focus on uh, on more on the cropping side of it. We, um, so we went down there to uh, rebuild the land and rejuvenate the land, um, put in the, all the nutrients that we need to do to, to sort of bring the property up into, uh, into prime production. Um, in doing so, you need a good agronomist along the way to, and uh, to fill in those gaps. The outcome, I guess, that we, that we, we value is is more than just the, uh, the the money that we that we um, that we had in the end, the, the capital appreciation of the property, but it it allowed us to um, to, to move on in our own businesses um, and uh, to I guess go down the paths that we wanted to with it, with expanding you know, into buying other land locally or leasing or share farming um, other land here. And I believe um, yeah, it sort of had a, had a really good outcome, uh, sort of strengthened us quite a lot in, uh, in our businesses um, we, um, and we all bounced a lot of ideas off of each other and uh, our true desire to, to actually build the property up as, as one and go forward I think was achieved at the time. The knowledge that we've gained in working together um, as a group and we're all, we're all still really good friends and, and there's no bitterness. We've, um, and all our kids are still friends, so 
it's um, <clears throat> you, you would say it's been a really successful enterprise from that from that point of view.